Hi, this is George from Hitech Legion. Today we're going to take a look at the Edger SD128264 double layer heat pipe direct touch CPU cooler from Zygmatech. The Edger is a full size CPU cooler standing at about 160 millimeters tall and weighing in at 670 grams. Obviously it's meant for maximum cooling capabilities, especially in an overclock situation. You're going to need a mid tower or full tower case in order to fit it, or even a mini tower uh, with a good amount of room. But it's obviously not going to be your choice for a slimline case or HTPC system. The Edger uses a 120 millimeter fan, which is PWM controlled and is capable of speeds from 1000 to 2200 RPM. The fan is capable of moving 89 CFM, so you're going to get a good amount of airflow through the cooler itself. The Edger also uses heat pipe direct touch. Uh, it features two 8 millimeter heat pipes plus four 6 millimeter heat pipes, which we'll take a look at later, but you can see through here and are in a stacked configuration. The Edger is compatible with all of today's current CPUs, including Intel 775, 1155, 1156, and 1366, as well as the AM2, AM3 platform. You will notice it does not list the 1155 Intel on the packaging, but it is compatible. Taking a look at the packaging itself, we've got a window so you can actually see the heat pipe and the direct touch of the Edger. On the back of the packaging, it's a full specification chart, as well as close-ups of all the key features of the unit. Slipping the Edger out of its packaging, find a user manual, warranty card, 120 millimeter fan. Fan does have four white LEDs, which are selectable on and off. box of accessories, mini tube of thermal interface material, mounting hardware as well as a small wrench. The edger installation is not tool free but that is the only tool you do need to put it in. Eight fan vibration dampening uh, mounts. Uh, the reason there are eight, the edger is capable of dual fans and it does include the mounts for a second fan. And of course, all the mounting hardware required. Taking a look at the edger itself. And the back plate. Back plate centerpiece pops out and obviously will be mounted with the pad side to the motherboard. At first glance the Edger looks like a pretty basic design. Standard aluminum heat fins made of a very sturdy aluminum material. There's no fancy dimples, ridges, anything. They are flat fins. Turning over the side you'll notice they're all joined. That adds a lot of strength to the structure itself. You can see the heat pipes coming up through the top. Looking at the bottom, it's heat pipe direct touch. The heat pipes are going to sit directly onto the CPU and conduct heat directly. There's no plate that the heat is going to have to travel through. This is going to be a better conductor for the heat itself. Now the funny thing about this Edger heat pipe configuration, you'll see there's four heat pipes on the bottom going up through the aluminum fins and making direct contact with the CPU. There are two 8 millimeter heat pipes in the center, two 6 millimeter heat pipes on the outside. But if you notice, there are also two 6 millimeter heat pipes sitting on top of the 8 millimeters. So you've got a double layer of heat pipes. That's going to provide even better heat dissipation. 